Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and uh, I just got a whole bunch of equipment from a guy I work with. Um, he gave me this Honda HR 214. These are really good mowers, aluminum deck, self propelled, also has a blade clutch, and uh, I think this thing works. He says he hasn't run it in years, but he. Uh, he, he said it worked when he parked it so he gave me that so we'll get that going clean it up probably get rid of it and uh, he gave me a bunch of other stuff so this uh, X mark here is really nice um, it's a 36 inch walk behind I did have a 32 inch walk behind and um, it's it's in nice shape and once again he parked it and uh, he said it ran but it had some problems when he parked it and he, d he doesn't really take the time to look at anything when he gets rid of it apparently so I'm not even sure what's wrong with it but uh, we'll get this one going it has the uh, Kawasaki FB 460 V I think that engines a uh, 12 and a half and it's a commercial engine it might be a 14 I'm not sure how you tell it does have the uh, oil filter so maybe it's a 14 if anyone knows you can chime in I'm not sure how you tell I think the blocks exactly the same size and uh, it has the uh, Tecumseh the big uh, transmission there I think uh, might be called the peerless transmission I'm not sure and uh, it also has the bag. He gave me the bag for it. There's a tear in the bottom. Um, usually they have guards, but I think he told me, I asked him about the guards. I think he said it didn't have guards. So uh, I don't know if he took them off or didn't come with them. I'm not sure. And it has the sulky to go on the back. Or sometimes they're called velkies. But overall this is a nice machine and I know that these things sell for like 3500 new and then you add on a bag for 300 a sulky for 300 um, so this is a really nice machine and uh, I'm, I'm sure it probably doesn't need too much I can see it needs some new tires though because they're pretty beat so uh, I'll be making a video on that as well and then he gave me uh, he's got all these trimmers that stopped working on them so he got rid of them this one I'm kind of interested in because it's a Troy built and it's a four cycle um, so which means it just takes straight gasoline so we'll check that thing out see if we can't get that going and he gave me all this other stuff a couple other trimmers you know some throwaway home lights um, he's got a Dol Dolmar sax one that's a commercial one there and uh, it's an ms 22c it's very lightweight aluminum so i'd like to try and get that going but it's missing the head so i'd have to put a new head on it and also we have this manis like mini uh two cycle tiller thing um i've never run one of these but they're, they're they look kind of nice and the reason they're nice is because you can just store it up on the wall in your garage and if you don't have a huge garden unless you're like a farmer or something um, it'll probably do the trick for you so I want to try and get that going and uh, oh he also gave me a generator so let me show you this this thing someone got it for Y2K it's a home light uh, I think it's uh, 2500 watt five horsepower Briggs and um, they got in 2000 about two or three years ago he gave it to me because it, it wouldn't start because it had fuel in it and I went through and got it running nice and then he kept it back and stored it he said he didn't even use it uh, since I fixed it so hopefully uh, I turned off the gas and ran the gas out of the carb and gave it to him like that um, so that should start right up and that gives me a bunch of projects so for this video 
what I'm going to try and do is just sort of cold start this thing. These Honda mowers are good mowers. And generally when Eric gives me equipment, he takes the time, uh, when he stores them away, he takes the gas out of them. And this mower is bone dry as well. So at least he does that. It makes my job a lot easier. These Hondas are good mowers. So I'm going to try and put some gas in it and we'll give it a cold start and see what we get. It's probably been sitting for five, six years. So I checked the oil, it looks freaking brand new. And I put some gas in it, and we'll see what we get. It's a joke. Making sure the fuel's on. No luck. Well, we'll try a little starter fluid. Well, no lock up front, so uh, we'll probably have another video on this guy.